Hello and welcome into today's remote edition of Cronkite Sports Now. I'm Kirsten Corns. Today was supposed to be MLB opening day, but there's no cry of play ball on opening day. The Arizona Diamondbacks were going to hit the field against the Atlanta Braves today, but instead were forced to take a look back at one of the best opening days in D-backs history. In 2002, Randy Johnson picked up right where he left off after winning the 2001 Cy Young Award and World Series co-MVP. 47,000 fans saw the lefty dominate with a six-hit shutout and eight strikeouts in a 2-0 win over the San Diego Padres at Chase Field. We want to hear what your favorite opening day in MLB history is. Head on over to our Cronkite Sports Twitter page to share your favorite opening day memory. In the offseason, there are two rivals that have built a lifelong friendship together. Recently, I caught up with these two MLB pitchers. Brewers pitcher Adrian Hauser and Diamondbacks pitcher Archie Bradley began a friendship long before their careers in the major leagues. Playing travel baseball when we were about seven or eight years old. I uh, came across him on another team in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and then my dad went to his parents and talked to them, and you know he later ended up coming and playing with us, and friendship started then. I mean, our friendship goes back to when we were little, but uh, it's continued into our big league career, and uh, he is a guy who definitely always thinks of others first. The friendship between these two, which started in the Oklahoma Little Leagues, transformed into much more once they hit the majors. Hauser reconnected with his old childhood friend when he had surgery and needed a place to stay. We're like brothers now. I mean, we've been living since I started rehabbing a few years back for Tommy John surgery and been living with him in the last couple years, so we're basically like brothers now. How many guys grew up together that are playing in the big leagues together now, getting to live together in spring training, we live together in the off season, and we've kind of formed a, I mean, a lot of people say we're family, but I mean, I really do feel like he's a brother of mine. And just like any brotherhood, while they support each other, the competition never ends. I want him to do well, but I still want us to win. So like last year when he was pitching against us, you know, I, I it was a weird feeling because you want him to do well, you don't want to see him struggle, but at the same time, we're trying to win a game and I want to win. So it's, it's a weird feeling. It was awesome, you know, it was pretty cool being able to play against him last year. It was, was kind of cool. He got to win the fir first night and then I got to win the second night. So it was uh, pretty cool playing the first time each other like that. Win or lose, the bond these two athletes have created over the years goes well beyond the baseball diamond. Beyond friendship, there is one team that is making contributions beyond the world of baseball, the Los Angeles Angels. Cronkite News reporter Brandon Jensen headed out to Tempe Diablo Stadium to find out how new manager Joe Madden brought his cancer awareness event to the Angels and Arizona. Angels players, coaches, and fans showed up one morning to Tempe Diablo Stadium with full heads of hair, but by game time, Many of them had totally new dues to help raise money for pediatric cancer awareness. I think it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of the guys signed up to cut their hair. Um, so I think it's a cool thing to not just for our team, but for cancer and for, um, for a good cause. Joe Madden's Respect 90 Foundation began hosting Balding All Angels under a different name eight years ago at the Tampa Bay Rays. He carried on the tradition while he's the Cubs manager, and now with the Angels. We're all worried about our hair. We all worried about like the looks going to be different. We worry about the wrong things a lot of times. Um, it'll grow back. For some people, maybe not, but it should grow back. Uh, but when guys uh, take this moment and and do this because they want to, they know it's important that they that they they combine and they show solidarity with people who can impact or afflict it. I love it, and so it speaks loudly for our guys. Since 2012, 350 thousand dollars have been raised to benefit those affected by pediatric cancer. Much of the money goes toward turning gloomy hospital rooms into a more pleasant environment. How much we raise is one thing, but the participation where matters the most. Um, always it's about raising awareness, uh, really creating um, more empathy uh, among our civilization so that we help others in need. This just happens to be cancer. Whether he was with the Cubs, Rays, or Angels, Joe Madden has always found players who feel the same way he does and want to participate in the event alongside their manager. I just hope that you know all the kids out there just see that you know there's there's you know professional athletes there's a lot of different people there's coaches there's um, a lot of people out here thinking about them. Parker Markle has seen this event grow over the years. He participated as a member of the Rays organization now he's doing the same as a member of the Angels pitching staff. This world that we live in and, you know, the baseball world is, uh, you know, we're very grateful and, you know, honored to be doing this and for there to be, you know, 
kids out there that are you know young you know seven eight nine ten years old um, going through a life-changing event like this you know knowing that people do care out there while Madden's uniform has changed over the years his haircut each year is sure to stay and he hopes that the positive turnout this year will lead to even more participation in the years to come in Tempe Brandon Jensen Cronkite News all proceeds from the event will benefit two Long Beach hospitals now let's put away the bats for the day and look at today's other sports headlines. Former ASU running back DJ Foster re-signs with the Arizona Cardinals. The Cards also added veteran defensive lineman Trayvon Coley. On the hardwood, the WNBA announced they will be holding their draft as scheduled on April 17th, but it will be held virtual without any players, staff, or media. And with Tom Brady's recent arrival in Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers use a trendy TB times TB reference when announcing the signing of their six-time Super Bowl quarterback. Brady's agent is now filing for the TB times TB trademark. Going back in sports history today, 15 years ago, the U of A men's basketball team lost an overtime thriller against Illinois after blowing a 15-point lead with three minutes left in regulation. To check out the full story, visit the Cronkite Sports tab on ArizonaSports.com. And as always, for top Arizona news stories, head on over to our website at CronkiteNews.AZPBS.org. Thanks for tuning in to today's remote episode. We'll be back again tomorrow. Just different face and different place.